Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Blessed children in the world, come dance with me this day. Come enter into my courts with praise and thanksgiving. Come bow your knee before my throne. Holy Father, Heavenly King, we stand before you this day in love, in worship, in dedication and devotion. Sanctify us through the blood of your Son. Forgive us of our sins and have mercy on our soul. We are so sorry, my Lord, for walking away from you, from your kingdom, from Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are a wicked generation, self-seeking, filled with vanity and pride, greed, lust, envy, hatred, slander and gossip. We covet what our neighbour has. We want more. We want to be the best. We want to exceed and then above everyone else. We want to be, and they have the most famous, the wealthiest, to have the highest position. We strive, we hunger, we thirst for vanity. Oh Lord, forgive us for our sins. Have mercy on us this day. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Help us to come before you in humble surrender. Our Lord of us has to surrender all, mind, body and spirit unto you this day. Teach us, Lord, how to give unto you our whole heart, to love you and serve you with our whole heart, mind and soul. Teach us, Lord. I'm pouring forth my spirit this day, my children. I am pouring forth my love upon you now. Allow my Holy Spirit to minister to you. Listen to his voice. My Holy Spirit will lead and guide you through every single day, every single moment. I know the plans I have for you, my child, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I want you to do well in life, but I want it to be my will, my child, not your will. For the hearts of man can be so wicked filled with vanity and pride, wanting to achieve things only to be better than the rest. But my purpose for you, my child, will be for the good of mankind. I will fill you with dreams and desires to help others, to feed the homeless, to help the orphans and widows, to see your neighbour in need, to listen. I will give you good values, my child, good morals. I will remove the lust and sin 
from your life, the torments in your mind, the addictions. I will set you free from the chains, things which hold you down, things which oh yeah, my gosh, stop you from worshipping me, stop you from seeking my face, reading my holy bible, praying, the sin which separates you from me. My child, I want you to do exceeding abundantly in every part of your life. But I ask you this day to surrender. Surrender your will and control unto me. Lay your life before my throne. Your Creator, your God, your Father in Heaven. And I promise to come and transform you, renew your mind, fill you with my Holy Spirit, teach you my holy words in my holy Bible. Open your ears to hear my voice, your heart to know and understand my ways, my will, my purpose for your every day. I created you with a fantastic reason my child, and I want you to discover this reason for being created on the earth. You are not here by accident. I have a purpose for you. Come to me or mend at me, and I will reveal this purpose to you, my child. It will be a purpose that helps mankind, that helps my earth, that spreads the gospel of truth throughout the nation. I want for every believer to be a witness of Christ Jesus, your Lord, a witness of truth, a witness of my ways, a witness of the holy gospel. This is your time now, my children, your time on the earth to preach the gospel, to preach the good news, to tell people about Jesus Christ, to bring them in. It is so important, my child, that you preach the good news to this generation, for there are so many children lost and seeking, living in sin and debauchery, who do not know my name, who do not know my ways, who have never opened my Holy Bible, who have never been taught the good news of the Gospel of Peace. They do not know my son, my son who I sent to the earth to live and die and rise again, the sacrifice for all sin, the sacrifice for mankind, once and for all it is finished. I want for all men to know my son, Jesus Christ to be forgiven of their sins, washed clean in his holy blood. I want them to believe so that at life's end they are not separated from me. This is the most important thing, my children, that you tell the world about my son, for the consequences are eternal, for the soul, my children, for the soul. One day you will all stand before me in judgment. You will be judged for all you have done on the earth. My son, a lady has been given all power and authority to judge you. If you do not know him, if you have not been born again, filled with my Holy Spirit, you will be separated from me at life's end. I am telling you now, I am warning you. I am warning every child on the earth to bow their knee, to come before your Creator, your Father, to give respect to my Son. Do not use his name as a swear word, as a curse in your life each day. Holy is holy. Holy is not a swear word, my children. I need this generation to rise up in reverence 
in devotion, in purity, in love, in worship. Words which represent my kingdom are now being used on the earth. As a swear word, as a curse. Repent of this, my children. Repent of speaking this way about my holy and sacred things. Holy is holy. I am holy. I am not a swear word. I am your creator. I created everything that you see, the universe around you, the stars and the moon and the sun. And it is only through my spirit that I can welcome you into eternity. You do not know where heaven is, my children. It is only by my power that I can take you into heaven. Do not presume that every person, every soul goes to heaven. You are on the earth for a reason. You are on the earth to fulfill my purpose. You are on the earth to find me and love me through your own free will. I will not force you to love me. I only want souls in my kingdom who recognize me, who know me, who love me with all of their heart, as I love you all. But you all have free will. Free will to choose me or deny, reject, walk away. I know the earth is hard, my children. I know it is tough. But all things happen for a reason. To draw you closer to me, to awaken you. Spiritually awaken you. I am with you in the tough times. I am with you in the good times. I am with you each day. I never leave you. I am always around you and in you. And helping you, wanting you to come to me, to pray and worship and listen to my voice. Come to me this day, my children. I am calling out to you now, if you have never said the salvation prayer, if you have never given your life to me, do so today. Say the following prayer, and you will be born again. You will be forgiven of your sins, and you will walk into paradise at life's end. If you would like to say the following prayer, if you would like to be born again, then I ask that you say the following words. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you this day. I want to be born again. Forgive me of all my sins. I repent of my wicked ways. And I ask that you change me, transform me, renew my mind according to your will, your holy word. I renounce the devil now in Jesus' name. I ask to be filled full to overflowing with your Holy Spirit, your presence. I wish to be a follower of Christ today. I wish to worship you for eternity. Please lead and guide me into the future. Surround my life with other believers so that I can fellowship with Christians around the world. 
Thank you that today I have been born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, forgiven, sanctified and set free. Thank you that today I am a Christian, a believer in Christ my Lord. I give you my whole heart and soul, now and forever. Amen. Beautiful child, the whole of heaven celebrates with you this day. Angels rejoicing for the salvation of every soul saved to the kingdom. You will be welcomed into heaven at life's end, my child. You will be welcomed into paradise. Read my Holy Bible each day. I will speak to you through my word. Pray to me each day. Worship each day. Talk to me throughout the day. I am a God who talks, who listens who answers prayer, who heals and wants you to be set free. Be still and know that I am your God. May my peace rest upon you this day, my child, my peace and my love. I am your Father in heaven. I am so thankful, so thankful that you have said this prayer this day. For I long to walk with you in paradise for eternity. I long to show you my new heavenly realm. It is so beautiful, my children, so filled with peace and love and joy. I want for every soul to reside within. Feel my peace upon you now. I am releasing heaven upon you now. The peace of heaven. The joy of heaven. You will see with new eyes this day, my child. Things will be different. I will transform you into the likeness and image of my Son by my Holy Spirit. You will have a new joy, a new lease on life. For your sins are forgiven. You have been washed in the holy blood of Jesus. He died for this moment. He died for you, for your salvation. Today you are saved. Today you are set free. This is your day, your day for salvation. Your day to rejoice. This is the day that I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it, my children. You only have a limited amount of days on the earth. You do not know when you will leave. But if you have said this prayer, then when you leave, a lady Horah, you will return unto me, your God. You will be welcomed into paradise. You will not be separated from me at life's end. Holy Father, Heavenly King, thank you for this day. Thank you that I can come before you and stand before you in heaven in praise and worship to hear your words, to hear your voice, to hear your heart cry for the nations. I see myself standing before you in heaven. I'm here like a child listening to the voice of her father. Thank you that this is the message you want to release on this day to the earth. Thank you that I can see your face so clearly and hear your words. Thank you that I am holding your hands in heaven. Thank you for a revelation of your son this day across the world. I see you, Father. 
I see your kahane has in mind. Lariviana hashi, I see your golden glory. I feel like I am saturated in light, in peace and truth and love. Please release and the heaven on earth this day. Open eyes to see and ears to hear. I pray for a great awakening of souls across the earth on this day. For your glory, your honour, praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.